Okay, so week two, grade eight. So this week we're gonna take a step closer to becoming a freelance artist or illustrator, similar to Vincent Prost. And this week we're gonna look at using image prompts and seeing the images that were created using the prompts and to see if we can put our own original twist on these. Now, what you'll find is there'll be free images that I've attached to a PowerPoint for you. And each of the images is accompanied by a prompt which was provided to the freelance artist to help them inspire what it was that they were putting together, so their creation. If we start by going through the first one, so the first one is from a card called Dark Depths. And the prompt is this. Um, I've altered this one slightly from what it originally was just to make it a bit simpler. But the, the prompt goes, create an icy location, but from a different perspective so that we are looking up, sorry, sorry, that we are underwater looking up uh, with the Eldritch entity. So Eldritch is um, from um, an old series of books uh, written by H.P. Lovecraft, which is kind of like these really creepy otherworldly monsters. Um, looking up through the ice at the tiny figure. Imagine floating near that dark tentacled thing, its unnatural mass rising towards the ice crust, and the figure walking across the ice above hasn't yet noticed what is below him. Okay, so if we look at this image, for example here, we can quite clearly see this really creepy looking otherworldly monster which is just underneath some ice, and you can still see the person who is above it, okay? So that's our first prompt. Second prompt, is if we look at the image, we can see there's a guy madly scrambling around what looks like a library. There's stacks of books looking like they're about to fall over. There is um, a bird carrying a scroll in the background, okay? And the prompt for this one, which inspired the piece of work, is this scene shows a desperate search underway in the workshop of a Telerian wizard. Now, Teleria is just a location within this world, so of a wizard. The wizard is digging through books, papers, and doodads, so different kinds of things, clearly looking for something important. Perhaps a trained bird watches quizzically or assists. Now, if we read that description and we look at the artwork which has been produced by Mitchell Malloy, uh, sorry, Mitchell Malloy here, we can see he's captured all those elements. We can see a trained bird or something in the background holding a scroll. We can see the desperation and the emotion on the face of the person in the image. We can see piles of books around, we can see loads of things. In the foreground, there is this um, blue bottle looking thing. So we can even see that there's maybe some objects in there which aren't necessarily just linked to what would normally be in a library. So this artist, um, Mitchell Mallow, has been really, really successful of taking that prompt and then creating that and, and literally being able to create a visual for that written prompt. Okay, third prompt. Um, okay, I picked this one because it made me laugh. Um, so this one, show a goblin precariously carrying a giant cauldron of bubbling soup, maybe on his head. Somehow the boiling soup has not yet been spilled, but it doesn't look promising. Okay, so we look at this piece of work here, we can see there's a series of different goblins, there's a battle going on in the background, we can see swords and spears and, and a range of different weapons and, and goblins and armor, and we can see there's one goblin with his gloves on, carrying a big cauldron of soup, which is literally about to spill out all over um, whoever's in front of this person, okay? so. A very, very interesting image, and the artist for this one has been able to take that prompt and very clearly create a visual representation of that. Okay, so your task. So there are three different prompts, and the result of those prompts are recorded. Now, I want you to put your own original twist on one of these three prompts. So you can pick one, two, or three, doesn't matter which, and I want you to create a new piece of artwork which responds to that prompt, okay? So say, for example, you go with image prompt two, okay? The one of the wizard or the person in the library frantically looking for a book. You need to read through that prompt, and then you need to try and find some reference pictures or to try and use that piece of artwork to inspire an original piece. Now, by original, what I mean is I don't want to see a copy of the work. I don't want to see an almost very, very similar replica, but the colors have been slightly changed. I want you to inject some originality into there, okay? So I want to see some of your personality, some of your creativity 
in whatever you put together, okay? So where you choose to focus on that is fine as long as you're using the prompt to guide you. Now the prompts, I've chosen the three really, really different prompts, so hopefully there'll be something for everyone in there, but if you have problems with this, if you have difficulties, please let me know. I'm sure I'll be able to help with whatever we're doing. What you'll see following this is I will have chosen one of the prompts and I will be trying to put an example together as well, okay? So you can have a look at what I've managed to put together, but what I'm most looking forward to is seeing what you guys are able to put together. So good luck with your image prompts. Let me know if you have any issues. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,